Hey everybody. I am on here today. It's kind of a testimony and I wanted to show everybody and tell everybody how good God is. Everybody knows me, knows that I've been through some things in my life. I would never change what I went through because it's like sandpaper. It polished me to be the person that I am today. Um, however, I work at a store and this young lady who comes in quite, quite often had spoke to me and she, I don't know what got us to talk the way we were talking, but she like was, was talking about depression and how real it can be. And I was like, I was just like, yeah, by the grace of God, I really got up and went to work today because I wasn't feeling good. I wasn't feeling like myself today. I do suffer from bipolarism, depression, and manic depression, anxieties, and panic attacks so I just felt really heavy like on my chest today I just felt the heaviness on my chest today so I just I really didn't want to get up and go to work but by the grace of God I was like God just pulled me through this work day and I was blessed because it was it was like I was meant to talk to this young lady today she moved from Baltimore she was in a Freemason she was in a satanic cult God pulled her out of that because now hear me out she moved from Baltimore. She's down here. They, she was supposed to be sacrificial. She was supposed to be the sacrifice. They were, they were trying to sacrifice her. They were trying to get men into her life to lure her in with alcohol, um, drugs. This young lady has little children. She's, she's happy now. God pulled her from this situation. She was so depressed. She was in dark places. They were trying to make her think she was schizophrenic. They were trying to make her think that she was crazy. And that's what the take the satanic cults do. I don't know if anybody's really understanding what I'm saying or if they believe what I say, but me and my fiance as boy forty six money team, if you go on face not Facebook, I'm sorry, YouTube, you can find me, PK seventy eight, and you can also find him as boy forty six money team on there and you will see that we're very gospel people, we're very religious, we're very we know that Jesus Christ died for our sins. He knows. We know he's our savior. We believe in God. We don't believe in a higher power. We don't believe in science. We don't believe in the pagan religion. We don't believe in none of that. We believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. With that being said, I was made to go to work today. Because this young lady was like... They tried to make me feel like I was just so worthless. And I was like, honey, let me tell you something. I've been through a lot. I said, you could look at me and you would be like, oh, she's just so nice, you know. And she's probably, you know, by the looks at me, you wouldn't think I went through anything. But anybody that knows me knows that I've been through hell and high water. I've been through my trials and tribulations in life. Okay. And I'm never on TikTok telling anything about my life story, really, all like that. But today I felt like this is something that needs to be heard. And I told this young lady, I said, I'm 44 years old. I said, I had guns held to my head. I was raped. I was molested. And this isn't something I get sad about. This isn't something I get depressed about anymore because God released it from me. Um, God removed. I told her, I said, there was a lot of people in my life. Two, two, about two, three years ago, there was a lot of people in my life that used me. I was out there in the streets selling drugs, holding drugs, holding guns, holding, you know what I mean? I was doing things that I shouldn't have been doing. I had no business doing for other people who didn't give two flailing flip-flops about me. God put my friend in my life, who is now my fiance, and just as a friend, he loved me so much that he kept telling me, like, I was worth it. He kept telling me, God wouldn't want me to talk like that. I gave up on myself so bad. I was so deep. There was such a deep, dark cloud around me that I couldn't pull myself out of it. The love of my child, my daughter, I love her to death. That's my baby. I would go through hell and high water for her. But I couldn't do it for myself. My daughter was crying. She was scared she wasn't going to wake up to have a mom one day. Nobody could do this. I prayed. I prayed and I prayed. And this is my testimony. And I'll tell it until the day I meet my maker. He pulled me out of such a deep, dark depression. A place I will never go back to. I have my friend. My lifelong my lifelong partner, his, he's by my side. It's my fiance. We're getting married 
<laughs> the people that were in my life using me, abusing me, and letting me do stupid things are no longer in my life. See, Jesus, God, he heard things that I couldn't hear. He heard conversations I didn't hear. He seen things I couldn't see. He removed those people out of my life, and now I have such a best, better life. I have a better relationship with my daughter. My my relationship with my fiance is great. It's not perfect. Nobody's perfect, but I'm happy. And I got to share my experience with this young lady and she seen that she wasn't the only one going through it and she wasn't crazy and that these people in her life were just trying to pull her down. But God moved her. She's here. And although she don't know a lot of people, she's a nice little girl, nice young lady. And her hearing how I went through what I went through. And I'm here. 44. I'll be 45 this year. And by the grace of God. I got pulled out of it. I told her. Guns got held to my head. I was raped. I was molested. I was. I was in abusive relationships. To where I thought I was going to die. God said not yet. Not yet. And I don't care who believes me. But this needed to be heard. Because this little girl lit up. She's like I feel so much better. She's like I needed to have this conversation with you. She's like I'm a true believer in God too. Because God saved me. Wow. Like wow. What an inspiration on one person. What change that I made on just one person. Made my day. I just. I got up thinking I didn't want to go to work. I got up thinking like, I just want to be in bed. I don't, asked my fiance. I was like, I just, I don't want to go nowhere. I just want to stay in bed. I got up. I went to work. This little girl came in. I call her a little girl, but she's a young lady. And what I said to her helped her. And maybe that was God's way of telling me. I went through what I went through to show other people that I never blamed God for what I went through. I never said, this is your fault, God. Why are you doing this to me? Never saying I didn't question my own abilities. I never said that I didn't question who I was and how strong of a person I was. But if God brings you to it, he can bring you through it. He wants you to depend on him. He wants you to have faith. You can never lose your faith. Or how do you expect to be blessed? It's a blessing to understand and, and be able to talk to this little girl and see where she was coming from. They were going to sacrifice her. That's crazy. The, but it's real. And we were talking and she was like, I was like, yeah, the Illuminati and the Freemasons and, you know, it's out there. And it's, it's like popular. It's out there. So I'm just going to say, by the grace of God, I was able to talk to a young lady and make her feel better and know that she's not the only one that suffers with depression. It's okay not to be okay. But by the grace of God, we will be. We just got to stay strong. Read the Bible. Share what we've been through. Forgive. And just look for the brighter days. Like, it's What's next in our life after this life is going to be so much better than what we've going through today. But that's my story for today. And I thank God for everybody in my life, for everybody who is now in my life. I got a better friendship with my sister. My sister is like my best friend. My daughter, like we're like this. We're inseparable. Me and my fiance, I love him so much. We might get on each other's nerves sometimes, but I love him so much. I wouldn't want to go through my worst days with him are better than any best days I went with anybody else. So, thank you for listening. And please share this with somebody and hopefully it can help somebody else. Dark days aren't forever. Them clouds will be removed. Sun will shine again. Thank you. God bless and have a great day.